huge tractor just went by. Buongiorno a tutti! Hello everyone! How are you doing? We are going to the market and we, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm shouting. And we're going to the market and we're trying to find, still, we're trying to find a baby fork. I mean, fork for babies. And because the problem is that I've been still, I've been trying, because in the last video I was always already trying to find one. We are still on this mission, but the problem is that, like, for example, I found online, I found some, like, used uh, spoon, uh, whatever, like, you can just wash and you can use it, reuse it, for one euro, which was great, but then, like, ah, the pasta, the, the, the packaging and sending it, it cost three euros, so it's like, it feels such a waste, so, and today we are going to the market, so I thought, okay, maybe at the market I can find one. So this is the, this is today's task. And uh, on the way, I'm gonna talk about uh, the the don'ts of Italy, like what you should never do in Italy. I made something really similar a couple of years ago. Yeah, there's always something you can add to the list eventually. So I'm gonna... And yes, I'm, I'm sorry, yes, and also Alberto is here. So in Italy, there's a lot of, not loaves, but like suggestions or, you know, like, around food of course obviously there's like certain things that you shouldn't do for example that is one of the, the strongest one is that you're not adding cheese to a fish dish so for example you're eating uh, like a spaghetti with vongole uh, with uh, fish and uh, you're not adding cheese to it it would be insane to do that like like you, you need like if you have like two taste buds, you understand like is this is the, this is not something that was a dude with a dog like super half naked. Nice. People are doing tai chi. Nice, nice. Good for them. Can we? Can I come? Oh, no, everyone is old. Why I can't come? Because I'm not old yet. I am old. I want to do tai chi with old people. I want to have old friends. Okay, the other one is, is a common one, I always say this. After 11, after noon, you are not ordering cappuccino. Cappuccino is a morning morning coffee, morning beverage. So we are not eating it after, uh, I don't know, lunch or whatever. It's just, it's a weird thing to do. I'm, I'm putting this back, sorry. It's just like, I, it's really, really sunny. The third rule, like food rule, but there's a lot of food rules. I'm just saying a couple of them. Like, you're not putting pineapple on pizza. Uh, Mauro is always saying, and I think that is a really a nice way to put it, because these are there are these rules of the food with the food uh, in Italy. But in the end, you can do whatever you want. You can put pineapple on your pizza if you like it. It's up to you. But you are the one who's eating it. Who cares? But then, don't call that pizza, because then that is not a pizza. And another pizza rule is that you're not putting ketchup on pizza. It's like, it's just no, no. Because I, uh, when I was living in Hungary, I was putting pizza, uh, ketchup on pizza. But there, the pizza is not good. Here, the pizza is perfect. Alberto is also re has a really strong opinion about this ketchup rule. The pizza here is so good, like it doesn't, it doesn't need ketchup, it doesn't need anything, it's just, of course there are places where the pizza is not good, that's another story, but like basically if you're able to choose well the places where you want to eat pizza, then it's perfect, so it doesn't need anything else, it's just perfect how it is, the taste is perfect how it is, it's not dry, it's just the perfect pizza, so you don't need that. The fourth is that uh, you are, uh, you do not think that everyone speaks English. This topic always makes uh, a lot of Italians angry. Okay, I'm not gonna defend myself. It's just there's no point to do that. Anyway, so when you're coming here, you should learn at least a couple of phrases next to grazie, sino, because, and ciao. Like, of course, these, everyone knows these words. These are the words that I knew when I came to Italy. That's another, another topic, but... You should learn like how to ask for uh, some water, 
uh, where is the toilet? Dove è il bagno? Where is the toilet? Posso avere un po' di l'acqua? Uh, can I have a little bit of water? Un bottiglia di acqua? Bottle of water? So, stuff like this, you should learn or just write it down, you know, in, on your, in your phone or whatever, or, you know, so just learn some phrases because it's part of the experience, but also like you are coming to Italy, so you should, you know, speak uh, uh, or, you know, you should ask uh, for the receipt in Italian. Um, horses, I'm sorry, I can't show you anything, <laughs> I'm just yelling what I see. Don't visit just touristic cities. It's really annoying that everyone is going to Rome and Venice and Napoli. Italy is a really huge country and there's so many beautiful places, like everywhere. Like in this street, there's so many beauties that I can't show you now, but, but well, you can hear me like, ah, oh, the horses or, you know, or whatever, like the, the, the buildings, there's a palace there, there's a castle over there that it's worth to watch and we are like outside of a city we are we are in the countryside oh wait i wanted to go ali ali is here i'm gonna grab some drink because i'm really thirsty and also there's something i need to buy here a couple of stuff and then we will go to the market and we're gonna stop here for the classic thing happened, what I was eventually talking about last time is that uh, at the ca at the cashier there was a, an, an old woman in front, not in front of me, that's the point, we, uh, we arrived to the cashier the same moment and she like crossed in front of me while she saw that I'm with a kid also but the funny thing is that in front of her there was another old woman and she saw the time with Alberto and she was like and she let me go in front of her so ha 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 that's what you get if you are uh, I had two objects so it's not something like I didn't make a big uh, uh, thing so that's what I was coming from so this is what I bought it's a syrup it's really, really refreshing. Usually we are using like just a drop of this and a lot of water, like icy water, because it's really refreshing instead of eat, drinking like uh, like lemon. It's really, really refreshing if you want some sweetness. Of course there's sugar in it. It's this uh, fruit, I really don't know what's the name in English. Really, really nice. Citron flavored syrup, let's say. No, vado via. Sì, 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 vado, vado, grazie. I can't fucking believe this. But we have to go. It's a busy day in Italy, it looks like, in the countryside. But... And she didn't even park in my place. She didn't even park into my place. She let me go away and she didn't park into my place because you know that my place, oh my God, now, now you can see the annoying parts of Italy because, the, because I'm gonna park here. Because my spot is a, is a mamina spot, is a spot where people who has kids who are pregnant are staying. So because Alberto is less than a year old, then I can park there, which is closer to the entrance. And it, this, it, I don't think she's, you saw her, but she was, uh, again, an older woman, like we are at the topic. I think she was like 60-ish. And, and she came here like, she came here like, are you gonna, are you gonna leave now or you stay, or you just arrived? And I was like, no, no, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And now I saw her that she realized that, ah, okay, it's a mamina spot. So she let me go away. Che annoiato, annoiato. Guarda questa cosa, this is Italy, this is Italy. And I, and I bought a, a drink now because it's hot and I'm breastfeeding. And I obviously forgot to buy, and this is zero zucchero, but doesn't have any sugar in it, but still weird. 
Usually I'm not buying this kind of... Ah, there was water here. Ah, I was smart and I put some water here. Tap water, obviously. We're gonna drink both. And while we are doing that, we're quick continuing. Yes, I wrote down the points here. You see that I'm, I'm really because I'm I'm filming on my phone, so I don't have the list. So don't eat at the touristic uh, play, touristic areas. So I saw so many people are eating not at Piazza San Marco in Venice, but like around the neighborhood of it. So like there's an area. Like in the next 100 meter, where the touristic area is minimum 100 meter. In Venice, 100 meter. In other places, is is more 500. Where you shouldn't uh, eat uh, or or drink because it costs so much more, and the quality of the food is not gonna be as good. I'm telling you, it's not is not gonna be as good because it's they are they don't have to be good because of the view sells it a lot of people going there so they don't have to be the best place some of you were asking in the comments uh, about the clothes like what you should wear when you are in Italy which is so, such a strange question I, I, I don't really understand uh, I have a point of view or I had like an, an idea what you are trying to ask here first of all you wear whatever you want to wear it's like you you should express your style as you want and you shouldn't be uh, cared of like you know there's a lot of Italian women who are dressing really nice and you're like not dressing nice enough or whatever you shouldn't care about that part for sure you 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 have your style and do that and then there's other things like more practical things so that's how I can think about this uh, this uh, question like in a practical point of view like the most practical thing that I can think of is that you shouldn't wear there are certain clothes that you shouldn't wear because that gives away that you're a tourist and if you are a tourist and if you are in a big city then the for thieves it's obvious that you are a, a tourist and they're gonna rob you so in Napoli or in Rome so like uh, khaki shorts uh, uh, a, a usual baseball head, but that's changes changed. I think a flip flop. Flip flop is also it's so not practical. The white uh, sneakers, uh, sports shoe. If you're having your camera in your <laughs> in your in your neck, uh, so there are some things that that are gives away that you're a uh, tourist. And then of course there are like churches where you should wear specific. You should look a specific way, like you should cover your shoulders and your knee. So, and they are really strict about this, especially in big cities, in churches. Uh, uh, you have to buy something uh, uh, to cover yourself. So you should be prepared for that, to have a scarf, to have a longer skirt and stuff like this. Don't bring big baggages, big suitcases, because you have to just drag them everywhere. There's no point. Uh, pack really lightly don't expect that the designer clothes are like super cheap here like ah Gucci is, uh, is uh, based in Florence uh, for sure it's you're, there's gonna be cheaper there no it doesn't work like that it's gonna be expensive still because it's a designer clothes so don't think that the designer clothes are more, less expensive here than in wherever you're coming from Okay, we arrived to the market and also I'm done with my 10 points. There's way more, there's way more that we can uh, talk about uh, in another video. You know, I like to talk about this kind of stuff. But I watched my other video where I'm talking about the do's, the do's and don'ts of Italy. I really like that video and because I cover so many Things, so there's a lot of information there.
Okay, I don't know how much uh, second I have left on my phone. Uh, first of all, I found a really fantastic example of the touristic outfit that I'm showing you now. It was amazing. And the second of all, the things I bought was uh, some tomato, ciliegie, and amazing ricotta. <gasps> ricotta cheese, amazing. You're gonna, uh, you're not gonna love it because you're not gonna eat it, but it was amazing. It's gonna be really a good recipe. That's all today and uh, thanks for watching. Have fun, take care, I love you. Ciao!